Good evening viewers, welcome to the Assam Tribune, you are watching Superfast and I am Monisha and here are the top 10 stories of the day. As Assam continues to witness continuous downpour, the Regional Meteorological Center Guwahati issued an orange alert for at least six districts in Lower Assam on Thursday. According to RMC Guwahati, heavy rain is likely to occur in the Lower Assam districts of Kokrajhar, South Salmara, Chirang, Baksa, Barpeta and Dhubri from October 6 to October 7, 2023. Halagandi police says 1,320 kg of illegal Burmese beetle nuts and three vehicles from the Bilaipur area of the district on Thursday night. During night patrolling by the staff of Bilaipur police station, three auto rickshaws and an auto vehicle were intercepted and the beetle nuts were recovered from these vehicles. However, all the drivers of the vehicles had fled from the scene before police could check the vehicles. The Kamro Metropolitan District Administration on Friday released a helpline number in light of the artificial flooding across Guwahati City, the helpline number of the control room where citizens will be able to call and register their complaints along with seeking directions and assistance is 93654-29314. The Congress staged protests across Assam against the recent hike in power tariff by the state government while also promising to provide free electricity up to 200 units if the party comes to power. Congress MP Gaurav Kogoi criticized the state government for a reckless loan and serious debt situation in Assam and for making life of common people miserable by regular hike in tax regime on almost every item. Guwahati city in Assam is reeling under artificial floods due to incessant rainfall over the past few days. Guwahati residents are questioning the authorities and Assam government for not addressing the poor drainage system in the city. Major roads in the Guwahati got submerged overnight due to incessant rain. Tripura Chief Minister Dr. Manik Saha on Thursday said that the state government is eyeing to rupees 20 billion economy through production and trade of agar wood based products in the state. According to Dr. Saha, there are around 1.38 crore total agar trees spread in 15,000 stand alone private plots. The highest concentration of the trees is in Kadamtala in North Tripura district. The toll in the flash flood in Sikkim mounted to 21 on Friday as army and NDRF teams worked their way through slushy earth and fast-flowing water in the Tista River Basin and downstream North Bengal for the third day in search of those who were swept away and are still missing. A total of 103 people, including the 15 Javans, remained missing after a cloud burst over Lonak Lake in North Sikkim in the early hours of Wednesday triggered the flash flood. India's Hasina Sunil Kumar Pranoy won bronze after losing the semi-finals by 0-2 to world-ranked seventh Chinese Li Shifeng in the semi-final of men's singles badminton with a scoreline of 16-21, 9-21 on Friday. In a tough-fought battle, Pranoy looked sharp on the nets but seemed struggling with back pain and was poor in defense. India women's team showed an impeccable spirit to win the spot on the podium and claimed its first ever bronze in Sepaktakro after going down against Thailand in the Regu semi final at the ongoing 19 Asian Games on Friday. India lost to Thailand in straight sets by 21 10, 21 13 in a match that lasted for 30 minutes. The 2023 Nobel Peace Prize was on Friday awarded to Nargis Mohammadi for her fight against the oppression of women in Iran and her fight to promote human rights and freedom for all. The announcement was made by the Norwegian Nobel Institute in Oslo. The deems of the nominees were kept a secret this year, but more than 350 people and groups were said to be in the running. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Like, share and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X, YouTube and Telegram. Tune in tomorrow at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed.